Secondhand tobacco smoke exposure has long been recognized as a health concern for non-smokers. With the rise in states that now allow medical marijuana and recreational marijuana use, secondhand cannabis smoke, more commonly referred to as marijuana smoke, has also become a concern for many. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, smoked marijuana has many of the same cancer-causing substances as smoked tobacco, but there are still a lot of unanswered questions around secondhand marijuana smoke exposure and its impact on chronic diseases such as heart disease, cancer, and lung diseases. Secondhand marijuana smoke does contain tetrahydrocannabinol, or THC, the chemical responsible for most of marijuana's psychological effects. The smoke is also a complex mixture of many other chemicals and particulate matter. Exposure to particulate matter can cause lung irritation, may trigger an asthma attack in some people with the condition, and can be a concern for people who have COPD or other lung diseases. The California Office of Environmental Health Hazard Assessment lists marijuana smoke as a carcinogen and reproductive toxin on its Proposition 65 list. Some of the substances found in marijuana smoke they list include 1,3-butadiene, arsenic, benzene, benzoapyrene, cadmium, carbon monoxide, hexavalent chromium, hydrogen cyanide, formaldehyde, lead, mercury, nickel, and toluene. Some people also have concerns about whether they would fail a drug test or could become impaired from being around secondhand marijuana smoke. Factors such as ventilation rates, proximity to the smoke, and how long someone is inhaling the secondhand smoke are all issues to consider. These are just a few of the many things to know about secondhand marijuana smoke exposure risks. To learn more about this or other indoor air quality, building science, environmental, occupational, health, or safety issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.